Raise your hand if you use chartreuse for bass fishing. I personally use chartreuse all the time, whether it's for spinner baits like this, or for hard baits or plastics, and chartreuse is an extremely popular color in professional bass fishing. A little chartreuse that pops through, orange and chartreuse. You know, a chartreuse sexy shad. But it has a lot of chartreuse in it. And that chartreuse is important in that stained water or that milky kind of cloudy water. That chartreuse uh, is a killer. Chartreuse is very, very important. Chartreuse shad, the best color probably ever designed. You're trying to imitate bluegill, or you're trying to imitate shad, or you're trying to imitate, I don't know what that would imitate. But here's the crazy part. Did you know that according to science, large bulk bass cannot even see chartreuse? So I just got done reading through this interesting study right here, and it, it, this study is titled, Seeing Red, Color Vision in Large Mouth Bass. And it was done by a bunch of scientists from both New York and Illinois, and essentially what they were doing is they were analyzing what colors that bass can actually see. So the first thing that they did is they gathered a big population of bass, both northern strain and Florida strain, and they put them all in various tanks, and each tank was trained to feed out of a different colored pipe. Red, green, blue, chartreuse, black, and white. It took roughly 47 days to get the bass trained to strike at a certain color. So through various tests, they found out a few interesting things. The first thing you need to know is that largemouth bass have dichromatic vision, which means they use two different color receptors to see light. Now specifically for largemouth bass, on one end of the spectrum is green, and on the other end of the spectrum is red. So that means they see green and red really, really well, or they can differentiate those two colors extremely well. But then in between, there's sort of some problem colors. So what are the problem colors? If you read the title before you clicked on this video, you know that chartreuse is one of those problem colors. Specifically, they have a hard time differentiating chartreuse from white. Chartreuse and white look roughly the same to largemouth bass. Should I use a white spinnerbait or a chartreuse spinnerbait? It doesn't matter. Bass that were trained to strike the chartreuse lures only struck chartreuse less than half of the time and white was a lot of their incidental strikes. And bass that were trained to strike white actually struck white only a third of the time, compared to an 85% success rate for red and a 72% success rate for green. Initiate bass vision. So another interesting finding from the study um, is that bass see black and blue as the same color. So if you're throwing one of these, they're probably seeing something like this. Probably true, and why is that interesting? Because black and blue is one of the most popular jig colors out there amongst bass fishermen. Black and blue. Black and blue. Black and blue. Black and blue. Black and blue is the mainstay. If I had to have only one color, it would be black and blue. So according to the study, bass that were trained to strike blue struck blue at 48% of the time, and it struck black at 39% of the time, which means that to them, those two colors were basically indistinguishable. I'm not saying not to use this, and I'm not saying not to use this, because they both work extremely well. That's why they're two extremely popular lure patterns. But I'm just telling you what the science says and you can do with it what you will. This study was done on largemouth bass and it probably doesn't mean anything for smallmouth bass. In fact, if I were to guess, I would guess that smallmouth bass have the two spectrums and on one side is chartreuse and the other side is pink. Let me say this is not based on fact. I personally don't have any idea, but if you guys have any really good ideas, you should let me know down below in the comment section. I'd be interested to hear what you guys have to say. 
So that's all I have for this video. And I want to thank you guys for watching and I will see you next time.